Hey, this is Commander Bacon with His Way Homestead. And today, we've got a little weekend project that's really going to be important and help us out uh, really soon. Stick around, I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> we are in full mode of trying to figure out the logistics of how we're going to process our pigs, right? There's a lot that I guess has to go into it. Uh, how are you going to hoist them up? How are you going to hang them? You know, one of the things I've been thinking about is how do you dispatch and make sure you bleed them out right? And talk to a friend of mine from back home in Maryland, and he helped me out with that. But the big thing I want to do this weekend is, uh, of course, I got to, I got to get the portable pig pen finished. That's going to play an integral part of what we're going to be doing to process the pigs. And also, uh, without having to use a tractor with a front end loader or a skid steer or anything like that, because I don't have those, and I would have to impose on my neighbors, and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to build a tripod. So I went to uh, Home Depot and they didn't have what I needed. So I went to Lowe's. These are four pressure treated four by fours, 12 foot long. And the other thing I got was this three quarter inch piece of all thread, two nuts, six washers. And I'll show you how the tripod's gonna go together. And went to Harbor Freight and got a one ton chain fall. Why one ton? Don't need one ton. It's 2,000 pounds. Uh, one ton because out of the quarter ton and three quarter ton chain falls that they had, the one ton was the cheapest. So I'm like, well, that doesn't make any sense, but I'll go ahead and get the one ton. So uh, the other thing about this setup, I'm going to have to make something in the forge. And uh, so that should be interesting. Hopefully I can do it and get it done. Um, so we did buy a uh, scale, a hanging scale. Uh, so we're going to be able to weigh our pigs, uh, you know, prior to having just the halves. And uh, the other thing I want to make is a gambrel. So uh, to be able to, to hang the pigs with and spread, spread their back legs apart and be able to work on them. So anyway, stick around. We'll hopefully I'll be able to explain it. And maybe this will be something that you could do too, if you're interested in processing your own pigs. So stick around. So, I'll, I'll have to get a tape measure, but um, basically what I'm going to do is spread the bottoms apart as wide as the trailer, and then we'll take a line parallel with the edge of this, and we'll cut the outside one at an angle, drill through, and bolt them together. Pretty simple. Not a big deal. Thank 
All right, I'm going to center the back end of this middle. Seven three eighths. Thirty six. <clears throat> Thirty six and three eighths, and it should be. 36 degrees. Close enough. <clears throat> All right. So now we got that centered. <clears throat> I'm gonna bring this up. We're gonna lift this, move it in. And I want to come to about halfway on this piece. So basically, those will be like touching. All right, now we gotta make sure we center this, inch and five eighths, inch and three quarter. All right, I think we're pretty good. Now we're gonna just gonna draw a line That's what we're going to cut off. Does that make sense? All right. Stick around. I'm going to cut it off. All right. This is going to be about the easiest way. Uh, I could use a circular saw. There's nothing critical about this. Just have to cut it off. So let's use chainsaw. That's much easier than a couple passes on circular saw. All right, get the rest of it. all it is to it so you get it off the rest down there push it back you see how that pretty much comes together a little off but that's okay it'll all be okay I think it's because this guy's off This one's not up where it should be either. So, looks pretty good to me. And uh, so the next thing to do is I'm gonna go halfway between this flat and drill a three quarter inch hole straight through there. So stick around for that. That should be fun. All right, so we're gonna measure Halfway down there, uh, it looks like it's just a little over nine. So let's go four and a half. Measure here, four and a half. Here, four and a half. A square that's not going to reach. It'll be okay. This is just a guide for me. And then I'm going to want to go halfway between there so it should be three and a half 
Yep. So one and three quarter is where I want to be. I just got to make sure that I drill straight through there. This is a um, this is a ship auger bit. This is a three quarter inch ship auger bit. If you want to drill a nice clean hole, not all chewed up. These are relatively inexpensive. If you tried to buy a twist drill bit this size, it'd be outrageous. So, this is what it looks like. It's got two different cutting edges. It's got a cutting edge here, and it's all gunked up. Cutting edge here, and a cutting edge here. And this clears up out the chips, okay? Now these, these can be a little flexible. You gotta be careful putting a lot of pressure on it. Uh, it also, it, it takes a good bit of a, a drill to, to do it. You need a beast of a drill. Hopefully I'll hit the other side and it'll go through perfectly. I'll drill them all together. Just because it makes it a little bit easier. Alright. downhill a little bit Wasn't too bad. Like I said, I got this three-quarter inch by 12 inch long piece of all thread. I'm gonna put a washer yeah, right about in the center. See if this will fit in it. <laughs> a little undersized. need a bigger boat bigger hammer let's drill this out a little bit more see if we can make it a little bit bigger Let me get a bigger hammer. <laughs> Let's put that washer on there. <laughs>
Now we'll go ahead and clean this one up too. Make sure it's got some slop in it. See if we can do it vertically. Got to move my handle. Get a little better grip on it. See if that fits on there. I'm sure it'll need some persuasion too. I don't know if I want to put it on there yet because I've got my other piece. If I can get it out, it'll be okay. enough and like I said I got to make the other piece I was hoping it would go in and out pretty easily but uh, it's not reaming it very much all right I actually have a one inch one that I could ream it out with see yeah see it's just kind of chewed up that's what's keeping it from going in there good all right i think this one would go in there but i think with this being pressure treated and it's kind of wet on the inside i got like a little little fibers in there that need cleaned up so might end up filing it a little bit i got some rasp that i some round rasp i think that'll work so stick around all right so i got my big round wood rasp i'm just gonna gotta ream this out a little bit that's my tang All right, I'm gonna clean this up and uh, we'll get I'll get back to you stick around all right so the round rasp is not cutting the job then I decided to go old school and what that does it cuts a little bit about halfway through and then it just finds a groove and it's like threading a bolt in and it's not cutting so I had to resort to this one inch auger bit and uh, it gives me the fit that I want. And you can see it does a number on it. <laughs> Didn't really want to split that wood out like that, but but here's here's the fit I was looking for. This is what I wanted. That's what I wanted. So that's what we're getting with this. Much better, much better. I'm getting a lot of tools stacked up here. <laughs> and you see how much torque is in that drill. That thing will rip your arm off. So you gotta be careful with that. All right, so the test fit, we're gonna swing that around here. Get that that way. Oops, I wanted to put a couple washers 
there. A couple washers on this side. change that camera angle I'll get this uh, monstrosity off the trailer and we'll sit it up stick around this should be fun Let's see if you can see it. You can't see it. There we go. Let's see if we can lift this. If I can do this by myself. Um, I think I need to put this one over. <laughs> too tall there you go that's not wasn't too bad i think it's pretty big so let me get perspective so pretty good size the next thing Next thing is to make this clevis It'll hang like that. So this is where the bolts go through, that big bolt. That's why I left a little room there. Hopefully there's enough room, right? So it'll hang down off the main bolt, have a little jog in it to hold a hook that's gonna hold that chain fall and then go back up so this way, all the weight is on that bolt, which is transferred to the legs of the tripod. Hopefully that'll work. Anyway, stick around. I have this blacksmithing work to do. That should be fun. But all in all, I think I'm pretty happy with that. I think our pigs are like five, six foot long. Probably, according to, according, according to my rough calculations, I was figuring uh, 12 foot four by fours would get me 
10 foot height at the hook. So I hope that'll work. I'm hoping that it's good enough. All right, so the forge is a little loud, <laughs> but uh, all I'm gonna do is work on the eye on the end first. I'm not sure how much, um, how much I'll need. So I'm kind of just winging this. I'm not sure. First blacksmith forging project for a purpose. Don't judge me. Just got a half inch piece of rebar. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I know the thing is hot. Hot, hot. Just letting that rebar get hot. I'm going to square it up, make the eye, and go from there. I started squaring this up before. I just had this uh, MAPS gas torch, and it just wasn't enough to heat it up to work with this rebar. in there. Still getting used to all this. It's it's really new to me, so if this turns out functional but, but ugly, I'm okay with that. It's kind of like me. Functional but ugly. I want to square it on out a little bit more back further. Somewhere around here I've got one inch uh, ground stock. I'm sure all you blacksmiths are cringing about my technique because uh, I'm not very good at it yet. Okay. You gotta start somewhere. Trying to straighten it out. I think I'm gonna work on this and uh, spare you the boredom. All right, so not too shabby. It's not the uh, prettiest girl in the, at the ball, but <laughs> it, it's functional, right? We were talking about functional. So it's gonna sit across, it's gonna, we're gonna run that three quarter inch bolt through this. It's gonna straddle around that third leg that middle leg on the um, tripod and this will allow you to place the hook for the uh, chain fall so that it doesn't slide around and do all kinds of weird stuff so took a lot of effort because i'm new had to figure out how to do things and it wasn't easy for sure but i got it you know it's is it perfect no it, it probably, hopefully, future projects will look a lot better than this. 
but uh, we're gonna go try it on the tripod and see how it works. Stick around. No, it's hard to get down. It's even harder to get up. goes through that's all that matters come on So good. And then you just take your chain fall. Uh, all the chain. <laughs> stick it in there like that. Tripods this big. I think it'll work. What do you think, camera person? I think it'll hold a big rabbit. Big rabbit. <laughs> Giant rabbit. So there you go. That's our uh, that's our pig processing tripod. Anyway, there we go. We're one step closer to processing pigs. And uh, don't forget, as always, his way is the best way. We'll see you next time. God bless.